Uh, we are getting you ready for National Tequila Day tomorrow with a homegrown business that's opening a tequila bar right here in Detroit. Toma Detroit is the 2018 Comerica Hatch Detroit contest winner. And joining me are Eddie Vargas and Tony Lopez, two of the owners from Toma Detroit. Thank you guys for being here. Pleasure Thank you for me. having us. Buenos dias. Uh, buenos dias. I mean, you say Toma, I get like excited because that means to drink. I yeah, think that Toma was like in a drink song. In Spanish, or something. Yes. Yeah, it's Spanish. So first, Tony, tell us about the business. How did you guys get started in Detroit? Well, the business is a group of five guys. We all specialize in different industries. Mm -hmm. uh, my family has a background in tequila, and we have another friend, his background is mezcal. Eddie's background is in the restaurant business, and okay. we had a business plan, and we uh, got together, we wanted to open a bar and restaurant, and uh, Hatch gave us that opportunity to put us on a larger scale in front of the public. That's awesome, that's awesome. So, Eddie, talk to us about the cocktail that you're going to make. So, uh, we're making a, uh, a cocktail called Marujita, and this cocktail is like basically a uh, pisco, like a pisco sour okay. with tequila. And so we're doing a shot and a half of tequila. We're gonna add some egg white. Then we're doing some fresh lime juice. Mm. Of course, some ice. And then shake, 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 and shake. shake. It. Okay, so Eddie, tell me about the agave that you guys bring back to Detroit. You guys have a farm? So this uh, is a Cabresto. And uh, Tony family owns it, so I want to take it. Oh, okay. Yeah, my family owns the uh, brand of Cabresto. Okay. I branched off to start my own project with my friends, uh, Toma. But the, down in Mexico, they own the agave farm. They grow and harvest the agave. They get it distilled, and they import it down to Detroit. Nice. So agave so we, is what you make tequila yes. with. I don't think everybody knows that. So tell us about the tasting room you're opening in restaurants. Tasting room we hope to open uh, in early 2020. Mm -hmm. We um, plan to have the largest selection of tequila and mezcal or anything that has to do with agave. Mm -hmm. And I'll, I'll handle this. So you guys won Comerica Hatch Detroit last year. How did you guys get involved in the contest? Um, a friend of us that was a fan of the contest uh, mm -hmm. told us about it and we decided to go and give it a shot. And it worked out for you yeah, guys. Yeah. It worked out for you guys. So tell me about the other cocktails that you brought in. So this is, uh, I call this a Detroit Summertime. It has uh, Cabresto in it. Uh, also egg white, a little fresh thyme. This is a uh, cinnamon and orange, like a nice Grand Marnier taste. This is a Jalisco Old Fashioned that has uh, orange, tequila, a little bit of uh, organic agave that Tony brings from his farm. And this is the marujita we just made today. This, okay, I'll be trying this. So in the meantime, let's bring in Vittoria Katansky from Hatch Detroit. Come on in. Hi. Thank you for being here. This, these are some very appropriate winners. Oh, <laughs> this yes. is great to have in the city. <laughs> For those of us who don't know, tell us how Comerica Hatch Contest works. Yeah, so you submit an idea with a little bit more, like a, not quite a business plan, but a lot more information about what you want to do and um, where you want to be located in the city of Detroit in Hamtramck or Highland Park. Okay. And you can do that on our website, which is HatchDetroit.com. We're expect, um, accepting applications until July 31st. Okay, we and still have time. They have time. And this year you're doubling the prize we to $100,000. We are. $100, I keep saying dollars. sorry, guys. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. We Come are, on. and it is mainly because we um, had a conversation with Comerica, and the cost of opening a business in the city has skyrocketed since the contest started in 2011, yeah. and they heard us and doubled down on the prize. So. That's great. I know. That's great. So July 31st, business owners need to get something close to a business plan together, submit, and then what happens after that? We announce the top 10 to the public um, in September, and then after that, the public gets to vote mm -hmm. and down to four, and then these guys, the four would compete to the winning. Very good. Well, this is delicious. I was sipping Thank while you. you were talking, so I think you guys are good. I think you're going to do really well here. Thank you guys so much Thanks for so being much here. Thanks so much for having us. Toma, everybody. Toma. Toma.